Man, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of EOS. It's 1090 Jake, man. I'm rocking with Charlie. Y'all rocking with me. And for this video, we're going to be speaking on a Philly comedian that was gunned down on Instagram Live on Christmas Eve. Now, 2020 has been hell for rappers, with hip-hop taking major losses month after month and gun violence to blame. More recently, a young comedian coming out of Philly was gunned down on Christmas Eve and the shooting was captured on Instagram Live. Wu Biddy, also known as Skinny, was walking the 1800 block of Winewood Road in West Philly's Overbrook neighborhood when a man seen on video walked up with a gun out. Skinny can be heard exchanging words with the shooter. It sounds as if he's speaking from behind a mask, but you can hear him say, what's up, go ahead, bro. And you can even hear the shooter respond back saying, sup. Skinny quickly said, we on live. And you can hear the panic in his voice as the shooter raised the gun. What's up, go ahead, bro. Bro, go ahead and walk. Six shots can be heard on video while Skinny falls to the ground on the side of 1871 Winewood Road. Police found him lying in the grass, shot multiple times to the chest and head, and 15 minutes after the shooting, Skinny was pronounced dead at the hospital. The four second video quickly spread through social media and was tied to Chicago, as Skinny had made a video posting to his Instagram story, dissing Chicago rapper FBG Duck, who was also killed this year, 63rd Street, which is the street Duck was from, and Tuca, an associate of Duck, who was only 15 years old when he was killed in Chicago. Nobody called me, nobody hit me up. It's fuck 63rd, fuck Tuca, fuck Duck, fuck all them. You already know, old block shit. You know, long little grandson, V-Roy and T-Roy. And can't forget, heck, fuck your talk. First quarter, I looked at this in an entirely different way than what was being portrayed by people online trying to pull views and attention. Skinny had posts on his Instagram and was obviously a fan of Chicago music, but I've never heard of gangs in Philly and I doubted he had any ties to the BDGD war in Chicago. Not only that, but Skinny was from Frankfurt, a neighborhood in Northeast Philly where he graduated high school and played football. Before he even posted the Chicago shit, he said these West dudes wanna be my ops. Man, I only deal with Frankfurt shit. It don't involve me if it ain't Frankfurt. Run when we shoot. <laughs> you bitch ass nigga, you can't run when we shoot. I'm gonna smoke you. <laughs> Real shit. <laughs> so obviously he has something going on in his own city and going on with West Philly, but still decided to walk through there. Not only that, he's saying fuck 63rd, which many are assuming he's talking about FBG Doug's block. But to me, it sounded as if he subliminally dissing someone else, and it made sense when I peeped the map. Winewood Road sits between 64th and 63rd, and he got killed not even a block away from 63rd. And I might just be overthinking it, but to me, it looks like he was sneak dissing whoever from the west, decided to walk through 63rd, taking a side street, and was either recording a video on his ops block, or pulled out his phone when he got ran down on, thinking recording the shooter was going to save him from getting shot. When you add all that up, it doesn't sound like he was a random comedian that was killed. It sounds like he was in some shit or was acting like it and fell victim. Now Philly is known for not fucking off. Only two hours after Skinny was killed, another 20 year old died after being shot five times in Kensington and no arrests have been made in either shooting. Then Christmas Day, a man opened fire on a crowd striking two teens in the neck, killing one before he was shot to death by police again in the Kensington neighborhood. Earlier this year in July, another Philly comedian named Demetrius Green, more popularly known as Michiho, died after a gunman walked up to the car he was in and opened fire at a red light. The driver drove another 100 feet before crashing into a pole, but 25-year-old Michi had been hit multiple times and didn't make it. Now the first thing that people need to understand about the streets regardless of the city you win, bullets don't discriminate against anybody. Gangsters don't discriminate against anybody. And with this online generation, with people seeing trolls 
like Takashi 69 become famous off of trolling, off of talking shit, and then hiding behind the police. You have comedians, trolls, fans, everyone is getting into this act of feeling that social media is a bulletproof wall. That they can act, talk, and portray themselves to be whatever they want to be on social media and that it won't come back to bite them in reality. And I'm not saying that's the case for this kid. He could have been living like that. He could have not been living like that. But whatever it is, he had real beef and it turned into a real situation. Why the fuck he went over to where he had a problem at without a gun? I have no idea. Why he pulled out his phone? I'm assuming he thought it was going to save him. He recorded his shooter. You can see him. You can see his fucking face. He doesn't have a mask on. It's not the clearest video. It's only like a second and a half. I don't know if the police are going to be able to tie that into anything. Regardless, the shooter knew he was there. And however that played out, I'm sure it'll come out with the investigation. And he walked up on him and he gunned him the fuck down. And like I said, I don't think this has anything to do with Chicago. I don't think he said fuck duck and all of a sudden GDs appear out of nowhere and started shooting him. That doesn't sound right to me. It sounds like he was subliminally dissing 63rd in Philly. I don't know if that's a hood. I don't know what it is, but it makes sense to me. And one of the first things I learned inside of prison is it doesn't matter how I carry myself. It doesn't matter the energy I put out, the respect that I give. I have to learn how to react. Because it isn't me I have to worry about, it's everyone else that's in here with me. And I need to know how to move around them. If I'm in a dorm full of killers, I gotta be on the same type of time that they're on if I wanna survive. It's the same fucking shit in the street. The streets ain't made for everybody, that's why they got sidewalks. That's a saying that they be trying to put out there. You can get smacked the fuck down on the sidewalk too. If you ain't in that lifestyle, I suggest you stay the fuck away from it. Motherfuckers will be like, oh, he was lacking. He didn't have a gun. He didn't da da da. It don't even matter. He shouldn't even have been over there. Never mind been there with a gun and doing all types of other shit. He could have turned it around and killed the other person. Now he's going to fucking prison. The whole shit could have been avoided. And hopefully y'all that watch these videos can apply the shit that we say into your fucking life so you can avoid these situations. But hey, it's 1090 Jake. I'm rocking with y'all. Y'all rocking with me. Till next time. The Frankfurt High School football coach confirmed to us tonight that this was a former player of his, and he says the shooting was caught on Instagram live. His players saw it, and they are devastated this Christmas Eve. Kids lost a friend. They lost a brother. They lost a teammate. He liked the comedy, you know, just saying that's what he was interested in. He liked making people laugh. Um, made me laugh. <laughs> He's a funny kid. Certainly didn't deserve, deserve this. Saitsma is a beyond-the-field mentor and has been outspoken about gun violence impacting city youth and protecting players on and off the field, especially during the pandemic when sports were not happening. He lost another player, 15-year-old Angela Walker, over the summer. And the city needs to come together, elected officials, everyday people, and decide that this is enough. And, and we, we have to work together to keep our kids safe. We have a responsibility to do that.